Hey everybody, it's Bart from the York County History Center with today's Did You Know? Did you know Civil War Major General William Buell Franklin was born in York on February 27, 1823? Franklin was the oldest of six children born to parents Walter Simmons Franklin and Sarah Buell. His father served as the clerk of the United States House of Representatives and died when Franklin was only 15 years old. Future President James Buchanan, then a senator, appointed Franklin at the age of 16 to the United States Military Academy at West Point in 1839. He attended West Point from 1839 to 1843, graduating first in his class. Classmate Ulysses S. Grant graduated 21st out of 39 that same year. Franklin was assigned to the U.S. Army's Corps of Topographical Engineers, conducting surveys in the Great Lakes, Rocky Mountains, and along the Atlantic coast. In 1847, during the Mexican-American War, Franklin was promoted to Brevet First Lieutenant for his actions in the Battle of Buena Vista. Franklin married Anna L. Clark in 1852. They did not have any children. In 1857, Franklin was named Army Engineer Secretary of the Lighthouse Board and tasked with construction of several lighthouses along the Atlantic coast in New Hampshire and Maine. In 1859, Franklin took over supervision of the construction of the Capitol Dome in Washington, D.C. Franklin was also the supervising architect for the Treasury Building in 1861. During the Civil War, Franklin quickly moved through the ranks, becoming a Major General on July 4, 1862. Franklin led the Left Grand Division at the Battle of Fredericksburg. He was blamed for the loss at this battle and testified before a congressional committee regarding his conduct. Franklin was assigned to the Department of the Gulf and was wounded in the leg at the Battle of Mansfield in April 1864. Placed on medical leave, Franklin was captured on a train near Washington, D.C. by Confederate partisans, but was able to escape the next day. In 1866, Franklin moved to Hartford, Connecticut and became the vice president of the Colt Firearms Manufacturing Company. In 1872, members of the Democratic Party approached Franklin about running against Horace Greeley for the party's nomination as President of the United States. He declined, but had he not, he would have been running against former classmate Ulysses S. Grant. Franklin served as the President of the Board of Managers of the National Home for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers from 1880 to 1899. He was named as U.S. Commissioner General for the Paris Exposition of 1889. Franklin also supervised construction of the Connecticut State Capitol Building. Franklin lived many places, but he was quoted as saying, there is no place one can live with more solid comfort and with a more thorough appreciation of life than York. Franklin died on March 8, 1903 in Hartford, Connecticut, and is buried in York, Pennsylvania at Prospect Hill Cemetery. His brothers, Samuel Rhodes Franklin, was a rear admiral in the Navy, while Walter Simmons Franklin Jr. was a brevet lieutenant colonel in the Army. Thanks for watching. To learn more about York County's fascinating history, Visit us at yorkhistorycenter.org.